I didn't have an asthma pump up six months ago. I'm gonna call 911. She made it seem like I'm getting choked or something. She made it seem like I'm like, oh my gosh, love what I need to do. I feel like I'm fit to God. Just pull up and they can get my information when they get here. I'm getting shaky. Knees and legs getting shaky. Like I did 10 rounds last night or something. Ooh, my hair look a mess. Hey y'all, hey. But before, if you have to see by the thumbnail or the title, y'all already seen it. I literally just said I'm sick. What am I talking about? Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm sick. Like, coming back from Florida, I didn't got sick out of the freaking blue. It really happened like around when it was time for us to leave and to go home. As y'all can see, back at home. I didn't got sick. Um, it started off as like dry coughs, where I was like just, <clears throat> like it was like every thirty minutes, or like it was like it was like first it was like every hour, then it was every thirty minutes, then it was like every ten minutes. And I was like, nah, ain't no way. <clears throat> Ooh, man, I'm losing my breath because I need to really sit down, but. Before I pass out like I did almost last night. But I'm going to talk to y'all about that. You know what I mean? Um, so when we were driving on our way. we was, I was just like getting like. Like little dry coughs. Like just. Uh, 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 uh. Right? So it didn't really like start happening. Until like we got home. We got home like around I think 8, 9 or 10 o'clock. I can't remember because I was asleep. But the last time that I saw it. It was like 10 o'clock. So I think we got home at like 10. I'm out of breath. Real bad. Okay, so anyways, um around like last night, like around six o'clock, no, five, six o'clock, my asthma started going haywire. It was going everywhere. Like I I literally would like couldn't breathe. I was like spitting, like I was like spitting up fluids. Like I was like every two seconds I had to spit, 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 I had to throw up, but I didn't really eat no food. When we got home, all I was drinking like just water and like juice, and I had a popsicle. That was really about it. <coughs> and so, um, yeah, I was just spitting up fluids, but it got to the point where like I think I was panicking to my, I was panicking myself, and I was making myself scared because I didn't have my asthma pump. Mind you, I haven't had my asthma pump since. Months ago, like when I say months ago, it was like months, months ago, like literally, because my asthma, like when I was younger, and like my asthma was horrible, but as I got older, my asthma really haven't really just been like just that bad where I just needed an inhaler like every day, I needed an inhaler for just emergencies like from last night. So I just I tore up my room, I went downstairs and I tore up that closet, I tore up the kitchen because like. I couldn't find my inhaler. So my next thing, I'm like, I can't breathe. I'm literally like, like trying to gas. I'm wheezing for air. Like I really couldn't do nothing. So I was like, okay, let me text my mom and see what she's doing because she tried to have an argument with me prior telling myself it's my fault that I don't have my inhaler. Like you saying that to a child that has asthma, who asthma really just not even, like that's not even that severe. Yes, I have asthma and I have bronchitis. Okay, cool. But, boy, it's really not cool. But it's like, man, I don't need that negativity. I feel like I'm going to fucking die. And here you go talking about some. It's your fault. You should never got on a trampoline park. This isn't that. Yes, I don't remember what the hell I said. If I said something, I'm just going to insert the clip. I'm going to jump. If there's anything I'm going to do, I'm going to jump. My ass is going to be messed up, but I'm going to jump. From what I said, I really don't even remember what I said because that was a couple days ago. But I wasn't finna be sitting out and watching all the kids play. I'm finna go jump and be a big kid myself. So, <sighs> <clears throat> anyway, 
this fast forward from last night. I'm like, okay, I can't find my handler. This is now. She tells him, it's here, it's here. Okay, go downstairs and I found a box with my inhaler. Inhaler freaking, it expired last month anyway. So even if I did find an inhaler, I'm stuck out of luck. We in December. When I was, I'm not supposed to be breathing in expired air, basically. <laughs> so, I was like, um, I can't find my inhaler. It's hard for me to breathe. Yeah, I did check out that. I'm going to call 911. And so I'm calling 911. I'm literally like, cannot breathe. The lady on the phone, she's like, is everything okay? I'm like, I can't breathe. So I was like, is there anyone in the barrier? I'm like, no. She made it seem like I'm getting choked or something. She made it seem like I'm like, oh my gosh, oh, what I need help. I cannot breathe. I need somebody to help me. This man will keep his hands off me. Like, oh my gosh. She's like, no. I'm literally having shortness of breath. And she asked me questions like, what's my name? I can really even tell her my name, my birthday, what street I live on, because I can't even, I'm, I feel like I'm fit to die. Like, it was my time to come home. So, I don't know. So, it's just like, ma'am, just pull up. They can get my information when they get here. I had three ambulance trucks outside last night. Mind you, it was raining. I didn't even know it was raining last night. I didn't even know it was freaking raining last night. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I have y'all coming in the rain, but I can't breathe. Like, I really couldn't breathe last night. Like, so, anyway, they come in the house. They ask me questions. Why are you asking me questions? Put something in my mouth. Whoa, pause. So I can breathe. Like, so they, they over here doing this. I'm confident. Ask me what's my name and all this extra stuff. I'm like, okay. I just told the lady on the phone what's my name. I, all this extra stuff. And they asked me, like, do you need to go to the hospital? I was like, no, I just can't breathe right now. I just need something to help me breathe. This is that. So they gave me this little long tube that they, I, I didn't have to stick down my throat. But I had to, like, put it in my mouth and, like, take big breaths and stuff so I can breathe again. So they was in my house for, like, 30 minutes. My dog going haywire. She, she ready to attack. She ready to bark. Because she don't, no matter, like, not no familiar faces for her. Or just sits in general. So they're sitting right here to ask me this, have a small talk. Why are y'all talking to me if I can't breathe? I literally have a tube in my mouth. Y'all wanna have a full blown conversation with me? I can't even breathe. So, so after that, my chest is still burning because. They gave me like my inhaler, but like into like a, a higher dosage. So like my hands was getting numb. I'm getting shaky. Knees and legs getting shaky. Like I done did 10 rounds last night or something. I don't know. Like everything was just getting shaky. I couldn't feel it. my face. My eyes was twitching. And he was like, yeah, that's just, you know, is this just your inhaler just in a higher dosage, just anything like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you know. And so when they left, he told me I had a fever. My fever was like an 99, even though a fever was like one, 101 to like 110. So he was like, you know, just keep, you know, keep yourself cool. This is that. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he was like, take some Tylenol, Advil, um, Motrin, just anything like that in case, you know, if you need it. But he was like, if you really need to go to the hospital, we can go. I'm like, no, it's really not that serious for real, for real. Like, I just need to breathe. That's that's it. That's all. So now, yeah, I just just can't fucking breathe. My asthma. <clears throat> oh, and another reason too why I'm, I haven't went to go get a new asthma pump in case of one. If somebody gonna be, somebody asks, my doctor is a B word, so he don't have no face to face visits until May. We're in December. I can die. And you talking about some young next appointment until May, but he had virtual visits. Mind you, I missed my virtual visit with him because on a road trip, we was on a road and I couldn't set up my camera and drive and do all this other stuff. This lady was blowing me up. Like his assistant was blowing me up. I'm like, ma'am, I can't answer right now. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the ox. I can't answer. I'm not going to answer. Even though that's my fault, you know, being grown anyway, like that. I'm not a child anymore, so I can't, you know, 
do that. But y'all, that's the little story time on how I'm sick and what happened to me last night. And yeah, so I don't know if I'm still gonna be doing vlogs. I might take a little break, or I might just find some old clips from I don't know from this camera roll and do what it do. I was actually going to do a uh, a Christmas wish list, but I feel like sh right now, so. I'm not gonna be doing a Christmas wish list until I feel better, and that probably be like the day of Christmas that I might do a Christmas wish list. Christmas is gonna be over. It's gonna be over. So I might do a Christmas wish list on my TikTok. Um, all the stuff that I want on TikTok. Oh, this code. Um. Um. Yeah. So hopefully y'all like the little story time. And I'll talk to y'all guys in the next one. Bye.